feeling overwhelmed with how to build a good credit history from scratch? Whether you were born in the United States or emigrated here, building a solid trade history requires you to take on specific trade building journey. For immigrants, it is important to know that even if you have a credit profile in your home country, unfortunately, US financial institutions do not accept your foreign credit history. However, the good news is that building a credit history in the US is not as complicated as it might seem. In today's video, I will give you five easy and actionable tips to build an outstanding credit history and share this journey with you from my perspective. Not only as an immigrant who has built his good credit history from zero, but also from the viewpoint of an ex-banker with over a decade of experience helping countless clients build and in many cases rebuild their credit. Hello. I'm Ohan Kaik Chan, also known as Ohan the Money Doctor. If this is your first time on this channel, thank you for stopping by. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm a doctor of economics and a certified financial planner professional with over 20 years of financial industry experience. This YouTube channel is about simplifying personal finance, saving, investing, building wealth, and self-development. I understand. We all want everything to happen fast. We want to see tangible success in a relatively short amount of time. However, it is crucial to remember that building a good credit history requires patience and long-term commitment. I've always compared the process of building credit to losing weight. In essence, both require time. Consistency is key in both scenarios. However, I think building credit is easier than losing weight. Now, let's dive into five actionable tips that will help you build your credit history. Tip number one to build an outstanding credit history, become an authorized user on an existing credit card. One of the quickest and easiest way to start building credit is by becoming an authorized user on a credit card belonging to someone with an excellent credit history. I understand that it can be challenging to ask a friend or family member for such a favor, especially when it involves finances. However, if you have a closer relationship with someone who has an excellent, or shall I say exceptional credit history, and you both feel comfortable discussing your need to build credit history, you can ask them to add you as an authorized user on one or two of their existing credit cards. Also, you can ask someone with excellent credit to co-sign a loan you are applying for, such as a car loan. The idea in both situations, being an authorized user or having a co-signer on a loan, is to boost or jumpstart your credit building journey. While being an authorized user is a rapid path to establishing a credit history, remember that not all credit card companies report the activity of authorized users to credit reporting agencies. To avoid wasting your and the card owner's time and efforts, Ensure that the credit card company reports information for authorized users before proceeding. Being an authorized user or having a co-signer on a loan and making timely payments will benefit your credit building journey. Also, bear in mind that as an authorized user, you have the privilege to make purchases on credit card. Should you become late or delinquent with your payments, the responsibility falls on the original credit card owner. Therefore, it is crucial to manage this responsibility with care. They have placed their trust in you. I have potentially taken advantage of these tips to build my wife's credit history when she first arrived in the US. I know countless instances involving family members, friends, and clients who have jump-started their credit building journey this way. Tip number two, open a secured credit card. This is the second most straightforward method to start building your credit. Now let me explain how this works. With a secured credit card, you deposit a certain amount of money as a collateral. This serves as a guarantee for the credit card company in case you stop making payments, become delinquent, and default on credit card. Your loan or credit account could become delinquent once you miss a payment, and it may go into default if you don't bring it current again. The exact definition can vary depending on the circumstances, but neither is good for your credit. Typically, the amount you deposit as a collateral 
equals the credit limit on your new secured credit card. For example, if your collateral is $500, then the credit card company will issue a credit card with $500 limit. Ideally, you should look for a secured credit card without any annual fee. However, if you have one that carries a fee, ensure these fees are minimal, such as $20 or $30 annually. Avoid falling into the trap of credit cards that charge high annual maintenance fees, as it seems these card issuers are trying to capitalize on your financial situation and needs. Once you are approved for a secured credit card, congratulations. Now you are ready to use it. But remember, the primary goal of obtaining this card is to build a positive credit history. So it is crucial that your spending is both reasonable and responsible. What I mean by that is to aim to spend no more than 30% of your available credit limit and pay off the entire balance every month. If you carry a balance from month to month, the credit card company will charge interest, effectively making you pay to use your own money. Contrary to popular belief, you do not need to pay interest or carry balance to build credit. The goal is for a credit card company to report your timely payments to the credit bureaus. After a certain period of maintaining good standing with your secured credit card, the credit card company may upgrade you to regular unsecured credit card and return your initial collateral deposit. One important note, do not assume that because you have collateral for your secured card, the credit card company can use this collateral to cover your payments. That's not how it works. The company wants to see you manage your payments on your own. You can choose to make manual payments each month or set up automatic payments online to ensure they are done on time. Understanding how secured credit card works is simpler if you think of it as regular unsecured credit card without any collateral. Again, the issuer will not use your deposit to make payments on your behalf. Treat your secured credit card as you would a regular credit card and pay it off as you would with a regular credit card. The Capital One Platinum Secured Credit Card and the Discover It Secured Credit Card are among the most popular options for building or rebuilding credit. Before we dive into tip number three, if you are finding value in this video, hit the thumbs up and share it with your family and friends who could also benefit. Plus, make sure you stick around till the end because in tip number five, I will reveal a mind-blowing technique that many don't know about which can significantly help you build your credit. And guess what? It doesn't involve banks or credit cards at all. But for now, tip number three, apply for a credit card specifically designed for building credit. This is not a secured credit card. Instead, it is a credit card specifically designed for customers who want to establish a credit history. If you have an existing and established relationship with your bank or credit union, you should ask about any programs they offer to support their customers in building a credit history. Many financial institutions provide low limit credit cards with fewer requirements for approval specifically designed to aid their clients in building a credit history. Whether you obtain an unsecured or secured credit card, it is important not to spend money merely for sake of building credit. Instead, stick to your budget and make only necessary purchases. Now, tip number four, take a credit builder loan. Credit builder loans differ from secured credit cards in several key ways. A credit builder loan is an installment account, while a secured credit card or pretty much any credit card operates as a revolving account. Having a mix of credit types can positively impact your credit score, making it beneficial to maintain a variety of credit products in good standing. You might wonder, what's the difference between installment and revolving accounts? With installment accounts, you make scheduled payments until the loan is fully paid off, at which point your application ends. Car loans, student loans or mortgages are examples of installment accounts. Revolving accounts, on the other hand, allow you to make payments and then use the available credit again, enabling a cycle of spending and repayment. Credit cards and lines of credit are the most popular revolving account types. 
credit builder loans similar to secured credit cards often require deposit or collateral amount before the bank or credit union grants you the loan. Essentially, you start making monthly payments from the loan amount you are approved for. Upon making the final payment and fully paying off credit builder loan, the initial collateral is returned to you. Typically, credit builder loans come with relatively low interest rates, offering you an affordable way to build your credit history. And now, the long waiting tip number five to build an outstanding credit history. Here, you don't need to apply for any credit cards or deal with banks or credit unions at all. And it is establish a positive payment history with rent and utility payments. If the previously mentioned options do not suit your situation, a fifth option involves establishing a positive payment history through your rent and utility payments. You can request your landlord to report your rent payments to credit reporting agencies. Although not all landlords or property management companies do this, it is worth asking. If they are unwilling or unable to report your payments, there are online services you can use for a fee to have your rent payments reported on your behalf. Additionally, some utility companies and phone service providers report payment histories to credit bureaus. You should check directly with your service providers to see if this is an option for you. As you can see, there are several ways to build or improve your credit history. Whether you are starting from scratch or you are working on improving your credit history, it is a wise decision to obtain a copy of your credit report for free from all three major reporting agencies. For more information and details about obtaining your credit report, visit www.annualcreditreport.com. This is the only official site authorized by federal law to provide credit reports. It is smart to ensure your credit report data is accurate and current. If needed, do not hesitate to request an update or initiate a dispute to correct any discrepancies. Additionally, Credit Karma is a popular app that allows you to access your credit scores and reports from two of three major credit reporting agencies, TransUnion and Equifax. Knowing your current standing in terms of your credit history is the best starting point to either build or rebuild it. I have included links for annual credit report webpage and as well as for Credit Karma in the description below this video for your references. By law, everyone is entitled to one free credit report every 12 months from each of three credit reporting agencies. In 2020, soon after the pandemic, all these agencies announced they would temporarily make free reports available every week. The program was extended twice and now it is permanent. To discover exactly what affects each part of your credit score so you know what exactly to pay attention to and make sure you always have an outstanding credit score, be sure to watch the above video. Thank you very much for being with me until the end. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't downloaded my free guide to jumpstart your investing and building wealth, it is available completely free and I will leave a link in the description below. See you in my next video.